Welcome, friends! I knew you'd come! So I've been waiting, practicing my greeting! It was great, wasn't it? How much do you have to destroy before- Oh no, this is not Kafka, whoops! How much do you have to destroy before you've had your fill, Kafka? I've acquired the ultimate power! Observe! Whoa! Such magnificent power! You're nothing more than fleas compared to me now! Embrace your destruction! It's the fate of all things. be destroyed? Maybe it is. But people can always rebuild, and new lives will always be born. And time will destroy all those as well. Why do people insist on creating things that will inevitably be destroyed? Why cling to life, knowing someday you must die? Knowing that none of it, except for myself, will have any meaning! <laughs> because it's not the end that matters. It's knowing you have something to live for right now, at this moment, Something you've worked for, something that's worth protecting. As long as you have that, that's enough. And did you find your somethings in this broken world that just won't die? Yes. person worth protecting, a wife and child to live for. Coming from shadow, that means a lot. A peaceful kingdom, a loving brother who always looks out for me. <laughs> Someone willing to accept me for who I am. An obnoxious grandpa, who I couldn't live without. Wings from a dear old friend. New pals, Kubo! <laughs> Gal says it best. And Gogo -Go doesn't say anything. Bleh! You people make me sick! You sound like lines from a self-help book! If that's how it's gonna be, I'll snuff them all out! So... Every last one of your sickening happy little reasons for living! I'll destroy them all! Oh my. I wield the greatest power in existence! You may as well be the dirt on the bottom of my boots! Or the dirt stuck on the bottom of that dirt! Ah! 
I'll destroy everything! I'll create my own empire of death. You can't destroy everything. People will always have dreams. No! I'll destroy the entire world! And all the people too! There won't be anything left to dream about! There won't be anything left to dream! We won't let you hurt any more people. But what fun is destruction if no precious lives are lost? It... oh, <clears throat> It ends here, Kafka. Okay, okay, um... Oh my. I was not quite expecting this! Um, I want, uh... You... Uh, you... You... You and... You... I was gonna put shadow. I was planning to put shadow in the front line, but uh, well, wait. Does it really work like this though? I thought I got a chance to like reassign all my stuff. Uh, this has me worried. Realm Setzer and the D team. Actually, I think these are sorted by. No, they aren't. I don't know what these are sorted based on. Um, I kind of... Uh, this isn't working the way I thought it would, though. I thought I'd have the chance before the fight to rebuild my party. Not to mention heal. Um, because, you know, that didn't happen. Plus, do other stuff. Like, for instance, I wanted to give Lockheer the, uh... Master Scroll, because it's way more useful on him, or Shadow for that matter, than it is on Setzer. Hmm. But, with Ultima Spam, I don't know, it could be that there's another part after this, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. I'm just gonna keep spamming Ultima until something dies, and hopefully it won't be me that dies. That that's basically the whole plan. Oh well I killed something. Osmos? Oh. Something's happening. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Where, where did, where did my A-team go? Give me my, um, uh, okay, I still have the A-team. We're still good. Did you seriously just imp him? I don't know if he knows him. Uh, so... Unimp him, please. Let's. Uh, you can do healing, right? Yeah. Let me, let me... I mean, he's not great at it, but... It's Kyrga. Uh, what? What do you mean incorrect input? Um, let's see. Ultima, and then now is a good time to use Osmos on something.
and then Blitz properly this time, and then Ultima. But yeah, this is not how I was expecting the fight to turn out. I legit thought that it would, um, you know... I, legit I legitimately thought that the fight would, um... I would get a chance to rewrite my whole party and I would only use four of them for this fight. So, you know, I'm, I'm a... Yeah. I've been caught off guard, as it were. Because I have not optimized my front... I could have really strongly optimized this team. But I guess it's fine this way, I mean... These are still my strongest characters. Well, strictly speaking, if I wanted pure damage, I should have Realm instead of Lock, because Ultima. But, even so... These are basically my strongest characters. So... Fro oh, that's unfortunate. Um... Use Ultima more! Well, I killed something. Please don't hit Locke. Oh, well, Locke is dead. Re well, really, to be fair, he was dead the moment he didn't- he came in without a shield. Probably. <laughs> well, actually, no. Not dead. Surprisingly. I thought that when you were frozen and you were hit with a physical attack, it, it killed you. Huh. That's- uh, that's odd. Oh no, you've dispelled me! Whatever will I do? Wait, I thought I killed the last one. Hmm. Well, this will probably kill it. But if not, I suppose I can just, um... Nope, that did it. Hefka. Okay, um, how many targets are here? Two. Okay, I actually want to heal with you for a minute. Uh, you're doing the usual. You are... I don't know if there's another part after this fight, so I'm gonna... If... I really don't know if there's another part to this fight after this fight. So I can't just blow trance. Which is kind of lame, but, well, not that it would really make a big difference, actually, come to think of it. Since I'm already doing max damage with Ultima, it would increase my defense, to be fair. Seriously, isn't he dead yet? Uh, actually, you know, I know what I need to do. I need to use, uh, fire on him. Hmm. So, something I haven't talked about yet. Dancing Mad. It's pretty terrific. It is actually re pretty, really terrific. Uh, do that. And then... That. And then Slez is gonna heal everyone. Okay, Locke is not dead. I don't even know what I'm stealing from him, to be honest. I just sort of feel like it. Who is does that hit everyone? Okay, that inflicts darkness? Oh, and silence. Ugh. Well, actually, not a problem, since the two people who use magic have ribbons. Like darkness and silence? That's that's no biggie. Hmm. I think he's counterattacking with it, though. 
Possibly. Meteor? Okay, well, Locke is dead. But everyone else is fine, so I don't really care. Oh no, he missed Locke completely. That works too! Wait, did I, I, did I just kill him? I guess that wasn't Kefka after all. Hmm. No, no, I should have known better. Because... Kefka! And descend from the heavens, Kefka. Life, dreams, hope. Where do they come from? And where do they go? Such meaningless things. I'll destroy them all! Um, well, Ultima. Oh, I guess I should actually probably heal them. Um, not even gonna do that. Uh, let's see, Ultima and... Let's see, Asuna on Sabin. Because in emergencies, I do want to be able to heal them. So... <laughs> okay, yeah, this is definitely the final fight, so... I almost may as well... Uh, what... What did he just do? Uh, that's what he just did. Um... Wow, okay. Let's... Let's... Let's deal with that. Hmm... In fact, I don't wanna. I definitely could. There's no more appropriate time than this to pop a Mega Lexer. I just don't want to. I don't think I need it, to be honest. The, the end, end draws, draws near. near. What the hell is that? Uh, okay, I actually want to throw, uh, where is it? Re-raise on Terra. Did I seriously screw that up? Oh, I forgot about... whoops. Um... Just in case, having someone with re-raise, having Terra specifically with re-raise, is probably a good idea, I think. Um... And then let's throw it on Celeste as well. Attack him... Because why not? What are you doing? Oh my. Um, no one is dead. That is just what I wanted to see. Ultima! I like that his knives are totally invisible now. Cause you know, that that's great. Um Re-raise! Seven! Hmm. I am sort of, but the constant healing, I am sort of 
reducing uh, Locke's damage potential, though. Oh well. What? Oh! That can't be it. Seriously, that's it? Really? That's it? I mean, I think even x put up more of a fight than that. And I had the most... Br well, I... Then again, I... I should should I really finish that sentence as if I don't have one of the most broken combinations in this game? Hmm. Well, that was Kafka, I suppose. That dissolve was like a solid minute long. That is very satisfying. <laughs> Although maybe a little bit overkill. The tower is collapsing! Well, now that the old man and the yeti are here, we're set. Esper mode powers activate! Come on, everyone. We can make it out if we work together. <laughs> Tara, what's wrong? What? Madisite just shattered. If espers are fading from the world now... What'll happen to Terra? Come, Come with, with me. me. I, I can, can guide, guide us using, using the, the last, last of my power. power. Okay, um, I shouldn't spend too long without talking, because that's a surefire way to get, hmm. Okay, um, oh, uh, it's a katana. Hit that switch, okay. <laughs> no, they are not. Hmm. You know, I never got around to giving um, Mog that spear, did I? I do believe I'm getting better, though. Sets her. This guy. Uh, 
a two-headed coin, with the heads being Edgar and Sabin. Oh, and Sabin's just standing there, holding the, up the wall. <laughs> Moogles! Oh, Moogles, how I'll miss you for the next few games. Don't really flip, don't really feature heavily in the 3D games, except for 9. Well, the first few 3D games, except for 9. They're not in 7 or 8, is what I'm saying. Not really. So, yeah, Mog's whole scene here is basically just failing. That's... you're not a stuffed animal, you say. <laughs> say that all you want, but I own a stuffed Moogle, so... Not the damn Yeti. He doesn't even deserve to be in the credits. I hate that guy. Seriously, Umaru is just awful. Oh, well, okay. The exact same time. Well, fortunately, you have the epic mime! Hmm, there's a box there. Shortcut! Take shortcut! Yeah, I suppose that's a shortcut. <laughs> So, something worth mentioning, you know, you what you might notice is that Slez, um, Edgar, Sabin, and Setzer, you are featured prominently in all of these scenes. There's a reason for that. Because you can get to Kevin's Tower after you have the airship, which means those are the only four that you can get here with. Um, let me rephrase it. Those are the only four you strictly need to have in the tower. Um, plus Terra, I think. Like, you don't need to recruit Terra, but I've been told that she sh sort of just shows up at the last minute if you don't have her. Anyway. <laughs> but he didn't get himself killed.
and Terra. I suppose so. Even Madowin doesn't know whether or not Sarah, uh, Terra will remain. Realm and Strago. I wonder what happens with Realm if you don't have Strago. Hmm. I, l I love how her painting a picture of someone is just a threat for everyone. Also, a 12 year old girl carrying old man successfully up a conveyor belt. Where's Shadow? You should be carrying him. Speaking of Shadow, the game sort of alluded to this a lot, but I haven't really brought it up. But Shadow is Realm's father, and he's running off, of course. Um, the place where it becomes completely explicit, although honestly it's pretty obvious at this point, is supposedly, I say supposedly because I, because I tried for this LP and I couldn't get the damn thing to work, but, sup really dude, but supposedly you can get a series of like dream sequences if you rest in, um, uh, the one town with Shadow. And they tell you about his backstory. I said, of course, I couldn't get the damn thing to work, but, well, hmm. No, on the other hand, you do need Str Realm to get Strago, so she would be safe for him. But yeah, I wonder what Realm scene is like if you don't have Strago. Magicite. What Magicite did I give Edgar? Terra, you've done enough! Your powers are getting weaker! She won't be able to fly around the world at the speed of airship anymore. How unfortunate. At least the speed of airship, actually. If anything, she was faster than an airship. Is she rushing to my blitz?
No, no, that sets her, not Terra. Is she gonna make it through? I mean... She's still alive. She is half human, so I guess that was enough. I told you, didn't I? She's the fastest ship in the world! She's the only airship in the world. That's not really a fair competition. And it's over! This was a lot of fun to do! Credits roll. Although, now, I think so far the my most fun LP was still probably Final Fantasy V, because that was amazing, and it was mostly new to me. Whereas this, except for some of the dungeons, uh, at, well, a lot of the dungeons, at the end, was mostly stuff I already knew. It was still a lot of fun to do, though, that's for sure. Um... Yeah. I do kind... Hmm. Hmm. How do I want to express my feelings, though? I do think the extra content and generally tighter translation in the advanced version is probably worthwhile. Still, I do kind of wish I had had better quality music just for the opera in, in particular, though. Uh, and, well, and to be fair, Dancing Mad with Kafka at the end, that could have probably used a better, higher quality sound as well. Those are the only two really area areas where it sort of no I really noticed it, though. Hmm. As far as things that I haven't done in here, like, I've done most of it. I already said the only thing I kind of missed that I wanted to do was the freaking dr dream stuff of Shadow, but I couldn't get the damn thing to work no matter how much I did try that. Which was frustrating. Um... And I don't really care about Dragon Den. Although, there is one more Esper, actually, that you get for beating the Dragon Den. You get Diablos! Which is another Final Fantasy VIII Esper. But, the thing is, first of all, Diablos isn't even a good, es good summon in Final Fantasy VIII. I don't know why they gave it to the to the Kaiser Dragon, which is the hardest boss in the game, the boss of the Dragon Den, because it's kind of lame. Like, all it really does is give you a lot of HP. More than Bahamut, admittedly, but still, it's kind of meh. And I don't think he even has any good spells, actually. He, I think he teaches you Meltdown faster, maybe, and that's it. And, yeah, I didn't even learn Meltdown um, from the Crusaders. Not that it would have really been using it in the first place, it would have been too dangerous. Especially when I can already deal maximum damage with Ultima. It would be kind of pointless to use Meltdown, you know? Still, I got basically everything I knew about, and I got a lot of it without having to look it up, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, whoops. Um, I'm, I'm gonna just try to edit that little mistake out. Um, hmm. But yeah, this was really fun to do. Although that said, I'm a little bit burnt out on Final Fantasy right now. Um, of course, I'm recording this at the beginning of June, because, well, you should know by now why. I'll be posting... From my time, I'll be posting a video about that later on in June. From your time, it, that should have been over a month ago. Um, so, by the time I start my next one after this, I shouldn't be burnt out anymore. That said, I have three main games in the running. 
Uh, the two big ones are either Final Fantasy VII or Final Fantasy Tactics. I really want to do Tactics, but I've been, but la I tried getting it set up in May, I think, and I had a massive amount of trouble getting the damn thing to work. Which is to say, I couldn't get it to work. So if I can get it to work, then I'm gonna definitely do Tactics. But if I can't, then I'll probably do Seven. But I said there's three things because. I'm also thinking of doing, um, what's it called? Secret of Mana? Yeah, I'm also thinking of doing Secret of Mana, which would be more or less blind for me, and a little bit different from Final Fantasy, so it would still help me take a break. But it is still sort of close enough, and I don't know. If I still feel burnt out on Final Fantasy by the time I start recording my next ser full series, I'll probably do Secret of Mana. If not, I'll do Tactics if I can get it to work, and 7 if I can't. Um... Other than that, well, this is the end of the LP, so I really hope you enjoyed it, and if any time is the time to tell, give me constructive criticism, the end of an LP is the best place to put it. Well, really, any time in your comments is always appreciated. Constructive criticism is always appreciated. But, particularly if, I, if you're only going to put it in one place, the end of an LP is probably the best place to put it. And yeah, just tell me what I did that you liked and what I did that you didn't like so much. And, I don't know, suggestions for improvements? I know I definitely plan on making some uh, technical changes between this and the next one. Uh, mostly, t mostly on YouTube end, but may but a few that have to do with the uh, editing as well. Like a different vi uh, video capture software. Finally, I'll be able to retire this piece of crap. <laughs> oh, her baby was born. And quite possibly... And quite possibly... Terra has returned. Although she isn't quite <laughs> on the ground yet. I suppose they're flying all over the place. are growing again. They're starting to grow. <laughs> Figaro. Uh, oh, oh, she took off her hairband. What happened to her hairband? You know, I shouldn't ask that question because it leads to other even, yeah. Um, I shouldn't ask that question because it leads to more. And there's an, isn't an answer to any of them. <laughs> Why is Rama the only Esper who wears clothing? Uh, let's, let's not go there. Let's really not go there.
I feel like maybe the music shouldn't have quite cut out yet. Oh yeah, the music bugs. Those are a those have been a little bit annoying. I gotta admit. Um, <laughs> although overall pretty minor. I'm pretty sure there probably should have been some sound of that last part. Maybe the sound was playing a little too fast. I don't know. Anyway, the end. So, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Blue. And fu for the final time, have a great day. Until next time.